Thank you very much, President. Commissioner, given the time and given that we are near the end of the process, um, we are, I think, all united behind at least one thing, which is defending the health of our population. We have an obligation to protect 500 million people who live in Europe, and they have to be sure that the medicines they take are not fake. They have to be given a guarantee that the medicines they're given are medicines which will help to save their lives rather than to hasten their deaths. I think the problem is sufficiently clear, and you'd all agree with me, that we should continue the efforts that we've made because the problem is not yet resolved. I've spoken several times about fake medicines. It's not something that we can just let pass in silence because we know how the um, people who fake medicines change their approach. We had problems with Viagra not long ago and I think the problem is worse now. We have medicines directed at vascular diseases, uh, cancers of different types and I think that these fake medicines, it's, it's no exaggeration to describe these medicines as silent killers. We need to make a commitment and to do that there are a number of things that we have to change. The, these things enter the market, they end up in the health chain, they're easily distributed on the internet. We had a monitoring system from the outset and now we have sanctions and penalties. If we think that faking medicine is a crime, then there have to be penalties and there have to be sanctions which bite. And this doesn't concern Europe only. We have to be able to guarantee that in those countries where falsification, where fakery takes place, we have to ensure that the people responsible are brought to book. Random checks, spot checks, have shown that there has been an exponential growth uh, in the problem. We're talking about something like 5 billion euros per annum, 5 billion euros per annum for criminal per annum for criminal networks and clearly that's not good for the health of our citizens. We have to understand that fake medicines is not just counterfeiting uh, in the sense of counterfeiting other goods. It's organized crime and it's killing people. Those are two reasons why we have to fight it with legislation, we have to give commitments and we have to act in a concerted way. We therefore need a monitoring system which goes from producer to patient. I'm very pleased with what the Parliament has done so far and I think we're now moving towards being able to give that guarantee. This process has been with us for four presidencies and two commissioners and I'm speaking now to the Commissioner responsible for health. It's been a long job and President, I'd like to thank you. I'd like to thank also the rapporteurs from other groups who've followed our work assiduously. My colleague Françoise Grostet has been particularly helpful. Olga Kramer has been helpful. Various other people have helped me a great deal. I'm very pleased with the degree of cooperation they've shown. I think that the work we've done has been extremely productive. We don't always agree on everything, but I think we share a common objective and it's very important we continue to do so. And since I can't thank everybody, I'd like symbolically to thank uh, everybody, uh, uh, all of the people who supported me throughout this long process.